Welcome back. Now, she is the second president of the second female president of the Architectural Association of Kenya, a sign that the male dominated body is taking progressive steps to close the gender gap in architecture. Mugure Njendu is an architect with a passion to see more women break the mold and take on more leadership roles in her field. We met with her at Build Her Kenya, an initiative started to get more women on the construction sites. It is a sight you won't see very often in Kenya. Women with hammers and power tools hard at work. They are the second cohort of a program that started in March this year with the aim of training women from the informal settlements with skills in carpentry and eventually get them onto the construction sites. They literally knew nothing. They could not even identify tools. They could not even be able to make simple joints. So as for our assessment, at least there are some where they are not as they came here. And here at Build Her, knowing how to make a chair is not all they gain. Number one, it's confidence. When the women join here, they're not even able to speak in front of their peers. But two, three weeks down the line, you can realize that they, they are able to talk in front of their peers. They are able to address any issues that come along them and also communication skills. The reason we are here, though, is because of this woman, Mugure Njendu a seasoned architect who has a passion of seeing more women enter the construction value chain. Her journey in the field of building design started very early, thanks to her father, who was an architect. Interestingly enough, my father is an architect. So architecture for me was something that I saw at a very early age, uh, hanging around in the office, seeing sketches, seeing drawings, um, going out to construction sites uh, as a child and seeing what happens on construction sites. Mugure would go on to study architecture in Boston, being the only black woman in a program of 100 students. She developed a pioneer spirit through that experience that sustained her career growth once back home here in Kenya. She would work all the way to the top of her field as the second elected woman president of the Architectural Association of Kenya. So I ran actually against a male candidate. Um, our association is 85% male and was elected. So I do applaud uh, our membership uh, for their progressiveness in general. Mugure says efforts to close the gender gap in her profession are extending beyond her election as president and even to the university. In the universities, we're seeing very close to 50% in terms of, 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 of women in the classrooms, in the built environment, which never, which never happened uh, many years ago. Um, I sat for my examination to become an architect about 12 years ago, and I remember in, in, that, in that particular uh, set of um, candidates, uh, we were five women out of about um, 50 candidates. It is progress like this that Mugure believes will see more women driving the architectural agenda in Kenya.